Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Inger Blue Line Land Management. Today I was going to show you just a quick uh, video on... Uh, <laughs> sorry, I got chickens. These things, I got a lot of roosters, they like to crow. Uh, so please bear with me on this. Uh, anyway, so I installed a case drain on my X42 uh, Cameron excavator. And I was going to just kind of give you an overview real quick. It's already done, but I was going to show you what I did to... Uh, uh, to install this case drain in case one of you have a machine kind of like this uh, and you need to install a case drain then uh, this is what I did for mine so this is the hydraulic tank on the side of the excavator as you can see and what I did was I just thank you I just drilled a, a hole right here and uh, put a, a JIC uh, fitting it's either JIC or, or pipe thread I, I don't remember now but uh, when you go to get your hose, you can pick whatever thread you want. This is an American hose. I had it made at an American hose company here in, in Oklahoma, uh, How Rubber, H-O-W Rubber. And um, it took them about 30 minutes maybe to make this hose for me. Anyway, so uh, just a straight fitting straight out of the hydraulic tank. Drill this out uh, and then tap it. Screw the fitting in there and then just get you a 90, 90 degree fitting that goes with that uh, I measured the length and and it's I got it short but I'll tell you what what you should have got but uh anyway this goes straight down and routed it down where all the other um hoses go through it comes through right here goes underneath comes up just like these do runs where another hose was and then you can see it coming up right here. And I just zip tied it uh, along the uh, along the existing hoses. And then I ordered 16 and a half foot. It probably should have been closer to 18, I'm thinking. 18, 18 and a half. Uh, because my hose stops right here. And it should have been down here where this one is. So uh, probably a good, probably another three feet. So 16 and a half. So... 19, 19 and a half feet, I think, is what you should probably get if you want it down here where this one is. Luckily, the attachment that I've got, uh, the Torrent EX28 forestry mulcher, it's a drum mulcher, um, had enough hose that I could run it up. I've just got a bungee cord tied to it to kind of hold the hoses up. And then uh, I've got one over here for my thumb hoses. So, yeah, I just uh, it's a half-inch line. Uh, inside diameter for my case drain. And like I said, this is the Torrent EX 28 force drum mulcher. Uh, I've done some work with it. It cuts really, really good. Haven't had any issues with it. Uh, I did install some quick connects on my machine. If you got an XH42D, mine came with a half inch British threads. Is, so you have to get an adapter from half inch British threads to either um, the uh, JIC or the uh, I think it was a pipe pipe uh, fitters or something. I can't remember the exact name of it right now. But anyway, so these are the connections that I made. The only thing that I can see is that the block, you know, was mounted. It was really nice. It's mounted really close right here. Um, but whenever I curl this all the way in, it's rubbing on this line right over here. Still is now, but it's not as bad. What I went and did is I got two, I tried to get some spacers, but I couldn't find any. So I just used two nuts that were a little bit bigger than the screws that go into the holes. And then move that out maybe an eighth to a quarter of an inch there on each side. Uh, this side over here. Uh, sticks out just a little bit further for whatever reason. I have no issues. The, the hose don't rub over here on this side. So other than that, that is the case drain for the Cameron XH42D. There was plenty of threads in there to thread that straight in. I didn't have any issues at all. Again, I, I apologize. Uh, for all the crowing going on in the background, uh, my wife loves her chickens. 
and uh, she has a bunch of roosters. We need to get rid of some. So if you like the video, please uh, click the, the like and, and, and subscribe button. It doesn't cost you a thing, and it really helps me out with my channel, and I greatly appreciate it. So we'll see you on the next one.